All right, your last option for this project group is a uh, light graffiti. And you're going to take 25 different shots with delayed exposures. Um, typically, delayed exposure works best at night, although you can create kind of a classroom situation where it's dark enough to shoot these photos. Um, and then you'll probably want to use different light sources, so different kinds of flashlights, different colored lights. If you have some LEDs or other flashlights or Christmas lights at home, bring them in. And then I highly recommend you use a nicer digital camera. Typically, the nicer digital cameras will have uh, longer exposure times, and some of them have uh, exposures that can be set for hours. So uh, I highly recommend you use one of those. And I believe the optimal settings are um, at 100 ISO, uh, and then try to set it at you know 30 to 10 seconds, so you have plenty of time to move around and, and draw or write whatever it is you want to do. Um, for each photo, uh, I also recommend you use a tripod so that your camera stays stable while you're shooting and you can move. Um, and again, each photo has to be different, so try not to regurgitate the same idea. Like if I see 25 photos of uh, circles, uh, chances are I'm probably not going to look on that too well. So try to try to think of something different to draw each time and, and try to be creative with it. Um, I'm not going to talk over the examples here. There's a ton of examples here of some great light graffiti. And if you look in the project folder, there's also some great resources as to how to do light graffiti well. So check that out.